Okay, so what we've got here is a Harrington WAC generator showing the classic symptoms of having been cooked. The generator room where the engine, where the, gen, the generator is sighted is black. It would indicate that there's soot, however there's no hole in the exhaust to account for that, so I'm guessing this is baked on oil and maybe, maybe some soot, but God knows where the soot comes from, but definitely from an oil because if I take the dipstick out, we can see that it's right down at the low mark. If you look in the drip tray, we can see that it's black. So I'm guessing that's oil that's dripped out through the breather pipe. There's a lot of dust and dirt that's in here that shouldn't have got in here. Um, I can't get a clear view of the radiator, but that's definitely going to come out because that's just off the fan blade itself. I'll try and get my finger up to the radiator, maybe see if I can get something there. I'm actually feeling it, it doesn't feel too bad, but still. All that oil floating about, I think we've got to get the engine out because as I say, we've had engine oil vaporising and basically going around the inside of the, the bay. Now, we're going to do a quick start here just to check everything's running. So she seems to be running, so what I'll have to do is take the engine out, give it an oil change, clean it up, get all that oily smear off. I don't want, want, know what we're going to do about cleaning the generator room. Uh, just to point out, two of the common faults have occurred on this machine, which is basically, this bracket's broken. Oh, and this is one of the units with the oil filter, uh, sorry, air can facing the wrong bloody way for getting it easily serviced. Also. We have a, a gap here on the uh, foam packing, so that's maybe where we're getting some of the air recirculation going on. Um, but anyway, okay, I think that covers it. Quick look at the unit number, 64907. Okay, that's it. Video's finished. Okay, another indication that these engines have been overheating and burning oil or well soot but in this case as I say this engine doesn't have a burst exhaust so there's no excuse for the soot really we have this situation this is where the radiator if it's working properly and everything's cooling properly this is where the exhaust air comes out you can see there's been a lot of I mean, that could be soot, but where's the soot coming from if it's not a burst exhaust? Yeah, that's what you've got to ask yourself. Could this be cooked on and burnt on engine oil? Possible, it would match up what we're seeing inside the engine, which is basically a low oil level and uh, oil lying about the drip tray and in the area of the fan where it's being dragged into the radiator. So, oh, and in case you're wondering, that's the exa engine exhaust up there, so there's very little chance of co-mingling going on. And just quickly to uh, make the point, here's another mod that came in a short while but ago. Now this one is obviously just thrown in, it's not been properly mounted, so the exhaust air hasn't been pushed out properly through the louvers. It's just basically been allowed to recirculate inside the bay. It's absolutely filthy. Again, you want to call this soot? Go ahead. I say it's cooked on engine oil. The exhaust is intact. <coughs> the engine oil is like tar. 
it's cold so but it's it's obviously needing changing it's not by the way this unit is not due a service and there's obviously in black engine oil floating around the drip tray here so more evidence of an engine that's been cooking <laughs> 